Hey everybody, Pastor Mike Hogue here, Christ Fellowship Church in Hollister, California. How are you doing? I hope you're having a great week. I'm down here on our campus where the preschool uh, has just finished meeting for the morning, 60 kids and their teachers. Best preschool in the city, by the way. Why do I say that? Because it was voted that recently and in the last couple of years has been voted best preschool in Hollister, California. It's because of the teachers and because the teachers love their students, but it also has an awesome playground filled with all kinds of things for the kids to do and be and play, including a boat right in the middle of the playground. You gotta love that. If you're from New Orleans, you would really appreciate that. Who doesn't like to have a boat just dry docked in the middle of your playground? Hey, um, also, uh, we on our campus, we have our homeschool group that's meeting here. Well, it's not our homeschool group, but we're hosting them or allowing them to use our campus. 60 kids and their parents put together uh, an awesome Christian-based um, homeschool group and we're honored to have them using our campus this semester. And uh, they're spread out all over the campus, they're enjoying the campus, and we're so glad they are. God's blessed us with a beautiful campus. Check this place out. And we just have an awesome courtyard that we use for worship. We have an awesome view of the mountains behind us, a garden, trees, man. The Lord is just so good to us, and, and we just are so humbled to have this um, place at this time, especially in the life of uh, of our city and our nation, right? So we're gathering together on Sunday mornings and we're studying the book of Psalms and we're reading it together as a church. This week, we're supposed to read Psalm 21 through 40. And uh, what we're learning is the Psalms were just like the awesome songs of, of Israel, describing uh, their relationship with the Lord and who they knew the Lord to be. This past Sunday, I preached on Psalm 23. It's a Psalm that many of us have committed to memory. Uh, but to look at it and just think in terms of what does this Psalm, how does this Psalm describe uh, the Lord our God? And in Psalm 23, there are literally 20 different different descriptors of God's character and who he is. And we applied those to our lives this past Sunday and just had an awesome time of worship and just a time of thanksgiving afterwards for uh, who our God is. And so this Sunday, uh, we actually have a guest speaker coming in, Dave Diamond. But um, I want you to encourage you to read, a, read along Psalm 21 through 40. And then, and I'm trying to stay ahead of you. I'm, I'm at Psalm 41 to 60. I'll stay ahead and we'll just share a few scriptures from 41 to 60 uh, this coming Sunday. But read in the Psalms. It's an awesome book of inspiration and discovery. Here's some uh, key verses from the Psalms that you're supposed to be reading this week. I think this is Psalm uh, 37. It's Psalm 37, 4 says this, Delight yourself, therefore, in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. And then it goes on and says, Commit your ways unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring good things to pass. You know, there's times in our lives where we feel like everything is out of control and we don't really know what to do. What the scriptures would say, what the psalmist would say is, commit everything to the Lord, give it to him, talk to him about what's troubling you, ask him uh, to show his glory and his power and his wisdom in these circumstances in your life, and he will do it. He will not disappoint. Our church is a testimony of that, God's intervention in the good times and the bads, God, God's presence in the good time, his intervention in the bad times, and uh, we were going to keep telling those stories because God is faithful and good. Hope you'll join us this Sunday. If you don't have a church and you live in Hollister, or catch us online, 10 a.m. Pacific time, uh, Christ Fellowship Hollister. It's broadcast on Facebook or YouTube, or maybe even both, I'm not sure. And then, of course, in town, 10 a.m. on campus, come worship with us. God bless you. Have an awesome, awesome week.